Hey all, welcome to Programming Knowledge. Hope you are all doing good. So today we are going to create a form layout using PyQt. So let's get started with the coding part. As I've already defined certain parts, so I'd like to explain on what are the above things that I have explained. So first thing, in order to create a form layout, we are required a few certain things, which is queue application, combo box, then we require a dialog, then dialog button box, queue form layout, grid layout, group box, queue hedge box layout, queue label, queue line edit, queue menu, menu bar, push button, spin box, text edit, and QB box layout. So these are the certain things which I have imported from pyqt5.qt widgets. Then uh, we have imported the says one, and uh, inside the class uh, class dialog, I have created a class called class dialog, and uh, inside the parentheses I have for I have used the queue dialog which we have imported. Here we go, queue dialog is there. So queue dialog as you can see over here. So we have imported that. The first thing what we are going to do inside the class is first we'll define number grid rows some grid rows as a variable and inside that I'm going to say grid rows as three. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one more variable called number of buttons. Let's say I'm giving it as four. So we did that. Then inside the in itself, which has already been uh, which I've already created that. So what I'm going to do inside it in it. First thing I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the self keyword followed by create form group box okay so i have defined this one and the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a variable called button box and inside that let's let's use the q dialog button box which we have imported which is coming from over here then after that inside the brackets i'm going to again use q dialog button box then dot okay so we have used this dot okay and i'm also going to use a bar uh, uh, followed by q dialog button box dot cancel so here we go let's close the bracket so we did this and then the next step what I'm going to do I'm going to use this button box which you have which I have created followed by dot operator and use accepted dot accepted dot connect and inside this I'm going to use self keyword followed by dot accepted so we did that then the next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable called main layout and inside that I'm going to use the QV box layout which we have imported from widgets. Then I'm going to use this main layout which I have created and use the dot operator and then followed by add widget and use the self keyword dot from group box i'm going to use the from group box oops so from group box have been created and then i'm going to use the main layout again followed by dot operator and use the add widget and inside that I'm going to pass on the button box which we which I have created so button box has been passed on then followed by let's use the self keyword again and followed by dot set layout self dot set layout and inside that let's pass on the main layout which we have created Lastly, use the self keyword 
followed by set window title to set the title as form layout. So self dot set window title and inside that let's provide form layout. Here we go. So we have we did that. Then let's define the from group box which we have created which we have created over here so we are going to define that one let's you let's create a method with the name df and then create form group box okay and uh, let's provide the self keyword inside and for the first thing what we are going to do we are going to use the self keyword dot form group box here we go let's keep this as the capital one okay so i have used that capital one so i'm i'm going to use that and then followed by equals to i'm going to use the q group box which we have imported from pyqt 5qt widgets and inside this let's provide form layout as the text so after doing this i'm going to create a variable called layout and inside that let's use the q form layout which we have imported then let's use this layout and use the dot keyword and use add row followed by inside the brackets i'm going to use the q label followed by android the name as one of the text and followed by oops so and comma q line i'm going to use the q line editor as q line edit so here we go the first one is done similarly we are going to do it for some more which is by using layout dot add row followed by let's use the q label oops so we use the queue label and let's provide as first thing as country comma q combo box let's use the q combo box as one of the instance so we are going to close this one Lastly, again, I'm going to use the layout dot add row and again use the queue label followed by providing the H. So after doing this, I'm going to use the queue spin box which we have imported and close it. So we have used that that's it we have used the three layout one the for, for name one for country and one for the age so q line edit q combo box and q spin box have been all used as defined so lastly i'm going to use the self dot form group box dot set layout and inside this let's use the layout which we have created here we go all the stuffs have been defined and here comes the main method and inside the main method we have used the queue application then dialog has been created then sys.exec has been defined so here we go each and everything has been defined so let's go ahead and now and uh, run the program for the same and check for the output so everything has been defined I'm going to cross check once again if if anything is left. So as we have checked now, everything is correct, and then all the steps have been already been defined. 
so there is no problem in the in the code so let's go ahead and now run the program and check for the output now we are going to run the program so here we go as you can see output has been displayed with form layout as a caption and then inside this we have the name country and age as defined so the q line edit is taking place in name and then combo box inside the combo box we have for the country and for the age we have the q spin box in which we can uh, by using the arrow marks we we just define the age and for the country we need to define the different countries inside for the combo box so that is separate one and for the name we just enter the name as we want so here we go and we have the ok and cancel button this is how we create the form layout for the same so and along with that we have a lot of options that can be done inside the form layout so hope the session was clear and you have learned about the form layout and i'm again going back to the code to explain uh, how the stuffs work so what we did we first imported the few few required things over here uh, which is q application q combo box q dialog dialog button box and each and everything which we have using the program and inside the after that we imported the says and then inside the class we use the three rows and four buttons as a like three three as the grid rows and buttons as variable for four and then followed by inside the initialize part we def, uh, we declared button box and use the q dialog button box and set it as okay and cancel one as one of the uh, like button box uh, as you can see over here we have the ok and cancel uh, as one of the q dialog button box and followed by we have the accept and reject uh, that is already been defined and we created a variable called uh, main layout and inside that we use the qv box layout uh, and we use the button box uh, as in add dot add widget and uh, we define the form form group box as a self dot form group box and uh, inside uh, so we have already defined the create form group box as a method name so as you can see create form group box so we have defined it over here inside the create form group box certain things which is inside the queue group box as a as a label of form layout and the name country and age in that we have used queue line edit queue combo box and queue spin box and then we have the main method so after running this like the after the, the method is uh, run so this is the output we get inside the form layout we have name country and age followed by ok and cancel button so just uh, try to run this code you will uh, get the output similar output as is and you can do the customizations as you want so that's it for today thank you for joining with programming knowledge see you in next tutorials with other creative uh, creative stuffs so bye guys